and I'm here to talk to you about foot safety in the Appalachian Mountains. Now when you're in the mountains, your feet are very, very important because they're your only method of transportation. If you hurt your feet, you're going to have a very hard time going anywhere, and if you're stuck way up on top of the mountain, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So there are several things you can do to make sure that your feet are safe. The first thing you can do is make sure that you have good boots. You need good boots to keep is keep a close eye on where you're walking. You never know when you're going to walk on a rock that looks like it's solid but is actually loose and if you step on a loose rock you can really hurt yourself. You should also be careful with cracks in rocks because it's possible to get your foot stuck in the crack of a rock and not be able to get it out. Hikers who have been hiking by themselves have on occasion actually gotten stuck in the rocks but unable to find help and then died because of exposure. So it's very, very important to really keep a close eye on where you're stepping and don't put your feet in areas that look iffy. If you see a little crevice in the rocks, don't even think about stepping there. Step away from it. It's also important when you're hiking downhill to have a different method for walking. Remember that as you're going down, you're gaining momentum. Don't help out gravity and go too fast because then you can have a slip, fall face forward, and then you're in a lot of trouble keep a very close eye on loose rocks when you're going downhill. And from time to time you might want to actually slide down on a rock rather than climbing down. If you're in a very steep area you really should consider leaning back, supporting yourself with your arms and then letting your legs slowly slide down rather than trying to walk and flipping over.